Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign in Attila Tula War. My name is Ben Pope. Today we're going to continue from where we left off. And if you didn't watch the last couple episodes, we have acquired quite a bit of land. Meaning that bit. Thanks to a confederation um, with the... Oh, what were they called? Some kind of... Some, some dudes. There were some people, there were some Germanic tribes out here. And they had all this land, and they were under fire from all the uh, Huns, and they're like, we're done. So they joined my empire. Actually, the um, mod is on Steam, and it's made by Dresden. And it's, uh, I think it's called just uh, All Diplomacy and Conquest Options, something like that. Just search for Diplomacy. Anyway, so they gave us all this land, and we're trying to just bring it together. We're trying to make it work. And we're also being attacked here by um, dudes from Atropane and Abarshash, whatever they are. They're, they're all, all like he's of the Sassanid Empire. And I have some forces there and that's fine. Um, I'm not at war with the Huns, so I don't have to worry about, uh, worry about their armies. But eventually I will have to. And there's a lot to fix in the towns I do have. Um... And I'm sending my king, my leader, over. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping to have enough money to take over Olbia here, which will uh, unite the Sarmatia Europea. And it really should help the province out. Um, kind of settle it down. I don't, I don't have sanitation, and um, I do have sanitation there. In here okay so we'll see but it's gonna be a profitable place and this uh, province I have to get summoned R from these guys and I just I had a fight against this army took some losses um, and in fact these are gonna take a while to replenish so I'm gonna recruit I can't recruit yet because I'm being sieged Right, so, um, I gotta deal with this guy sieging me, and then I'm gonna recruit units here, transfer them over, over so that you, so that army is full, go attack Samandar, and, uh, unite that province. Up top, uh, we left our armies in, um, fortified because that makes it immune to snow attrition, so I'm not taking any attrition out there, um, and I have to make sure I have sanitation which I don't at all so we're gonna get rid of this bone carver and I think here as well uh, we have goat barns which is a farm and we have fields which is also off a farm uh, this place is making 82 food on its own and I can afford to not have a farm because I'm making a ton of food so we're gonna get rid of this fields. I'm sure there's some characters without skills. I can even probably give him some bonuses here. Military building, public order. Um Yeah, I don't know. Um Big Sweaty Drummer. That sounds funny. Campaign movement range, sure. He's kind of the defending force right now anyway. So let's give him... If I want to unlock this, I need to give him fleet commander and the spoiler. So I can get that next. Why not? And you, sir. Similar idea, only you don't have much of this other stuff. So... Uh, let's give you. Uh, let's give you the chance of evading. Uh, barbarian map is good. Or yeah, map. And yeah, public order bonus, because this guy's sort of in uh, no man's zone as far as religion goes. 
All right, let's get going. I'm gonna see what everybody's doing in this turn's end. Hopefully, they're doing okay. Nothing stupidly major happens to ruin our plan, and we can keep going. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Uh, I intend to say that towards the beginning of an episode and I'm, g I'm glad you're tuning in I'm guessing you're enjoying it and that's why you're tuning in and that's that's good for me because my intention is to make some content that is um, full of knowledge that you can learn something from it although I'm not very good at everything I just I just kind of use common sense to a lot of stuff um, that comes up in the game since I haven't, you know, I haven't done uh, many of the many campaigns to know like all the the details or the what to do and what not to do. And if you see something that uh, I could do better, let me know. You may also spot mistakes that I don't. You can also let me know about that. Oh, these guys ran away. Good. It's good they ran away. These guys are going up north. I'm not sure why. They might try to grab mercenaries or something and, and mess with me up there, but we shall slow them down. Ours about is, is the, um, oh, I don't know, the one they will always have wavering loyalty because I don't feel like listing him or enlisting him as a bubonic plague. Holy cow. Not just any plague, guys. The bubonic plague. Okay, demolition complete here, but I think that means there's still one level of demolition to be done with. And that's where the plague is. Let's do the same for this area. Take out that building. Um, and we're gonna move the armies into, into the cities. You have to force march this one. I should make our public order uh, better, good, and much better actually, plus, plus 24, plus 15 there, or plus 18, plus 15, well from, it was like negative something. Um, Ready for orders. We can't reach him to fight him, but I still want to do that, that exchange of uh, units. So we're gonna go there. We're actually gonna go into fortify, which will make the replenishment slightly faster. And here we can recruit a couple more swords and uh, I think one Germanic bow uh, crossbowman was bad. Yeah. So I'll replace like I don't know. I'll replace. I don't want to get rid of the noble Germanic swordsman. I might keep him so he can replenish alongside, but I'll replace these two guys and the crossbowmen. I'll see. Next turn. Uh, you, sir, can. No, we have, we, have a, we have a fleet here. That's funny, you can actually disembark. Can you? I don't know. Does it actually do it? No, he just goes. <laughs> he just goes in the port, and that's it. All right. So let's slow this guy down. I haven't done much with the with the spy ever, so we're gonna misdirect him. Maybe have a chance to slow him down. Failure. All right. Disappointing. Right. Uh, so I spent that money. You looks like you have a skill up. Uh, and we'll get you. Let's get you these. Kind of go in order. This is all you can go. Our spy. Should probably go up this way, but he's just he's just slow. Like that's all he can walk. He's a stupid spy. That's probably a lot. I'm just complaining. Just complaining. Alright. 
What else? We exposed a dude. Uh, this might need some. Let's see. Uh, buildings. Yeah, the buildings need repair. Um, repair, repair, repair. Construction site at Tanaeus that needs the gold mine. There it is, gold veins. Sweet. Creates squalor and public order, but you know what, dude? Um, why not? We want the gold. One thing I might run into is public order problems here, um, but I can always just keep a small force or take away the farms. And put in something that gets something that gets us a bunch of public order. Okay, you guys have moved, and I think. All right, I took away. A, yeah, okay. I took away something that was given public order. I took away Chieftain's house. Trans Carpathia has food shortage. That's okay, lads. I don't want to create more squalor. Um, this place, where is this place? That place? Hmm. So I need that. Or that to make Transcarpathia. Um, avoid disease. I can build more sanitation buildings here because I already have a sanitation building. Anything else I need to attend to? Looks like that's about it. So we're gonna assign a character to our priest. Let's see, encourage descent, spread religion. That's probably good. Inspire populous public order. That's probably good. Um, negative to penalties. Distract agent and inspire troops. I think spread religion and 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 uh, populous uh, inspire populous is what I'll go with. That should help this place. Okay, flipping the page to the next turn. As the Visigoths <laughs> take their boats around the peninsula and everyone else. Um, gosh, I don't know, I, f I feel like I should offer them a bunch of money so I can take over their land. And the Yeats. have frozen my game up. This is actually the second time this is happening. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna keep this recording and um, try a few more times to see if it goes on from here. It happened again, uh, like, like I said just previously. At the same turn, when the gates were going at the same screen. Uh, so the game just stops responding and uh, if, if it doesn't go through I might have to scrap this campaign. Um, so I'm gonna call this episode the, ep the uh, <laughs> ultimate freeze. It'll be a short one. I am gonna have to think about what I'll replace this with and you'll notice that it's a short one and be like why is this so short? Um, Actually, comment down below if you guys want to see a specific campaign. One I do have in mind is I want to go back to Napoleon Total War and play the Great Mod, the Great War Mod, sorry, which, <coughs> excuse me, um, which converts the game of Napoleon Total War to a World War One era. So there's those, you know, very 
um, early model tanks and the, uh, you know the trench fighting isn't really there but you, you have that different field of the armies and uh, you can play as a bunch of the nations that were involved um, partially or uh, in a major way in in World War one so uh, that's that's my intention that was my intention for the next campaign I really don't like to see this end like this uh, but if it's gonna keep freezing then I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to salvage it I'll just make something else and continue with our lives sadly this could be the end of the Ostrogoths it's the ultimate freeze thank you for watching though please do comment with your thoughts uh, let me know if you have something against me playing uh, uh, the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War and I'll probably play as one of the minor nations I'll keep that a secret until it comes out so yeah if you're watching this then this is the last of the Ostrogoths episodes I express my sadness and um, I expect that you will do the same as well in the comments but do come back and watch my other content I'm having a lot of fun with the Bur Burgundians and I'm also having fun with the City Skylines series that I have going if you guys are not watching that you're probably missing out because there's a lot more people watching that than anything else I have right now so um, thank you though hope you enjoyed it again I apologize and I really appreciate uh, all you do for my channel it's been great it's been fun and I'll see you next time bye bye